All right, welcome back, everybody. What's going on? I pray y'all are having a wonderful, blessed day as we give the Most High y'all the honor, the glory, and all praises and worship. Just so blessed to see another day. My title now says, What Happened to the Tribe of Dan? This is a video response back to you, Sister Kelly 801 Powerful email and great questions. Great questions. I love how you broke that down about the tribes. So before I get started with this, I want to say this, Sister Shelley. I'd rather be cut than to be completely cut off. I'd rather be cut than to be completely cut off. And what I mean by that is cut me up with the word. Teach me the truth. <laughs> Forget the watered down, sugar down doctrines. Cut it up to the point where it hurts. The tribe of Dan, first of all, let's make this note. Because you got this great debate about it. it was 13 tribes. It was 12 tribes. Was it 13 and not 12? JT, like you said in the email, JT, I don't understand. Well, let me break it down. Let me go back to Trickster, conniving man whose name was changed later on in the Israel, which was Jacob. The Bible showed us that Jacob bore 12 sons. But later on, what Jacob done, he adopted Joseph's two sons in the place of Joseph after they moved to Egypt. So, like you say, okay, this brings you up to Dan, like you were saying in your email. Why is Dan not mentioned, even in the Old Testament, when you go back to First Chronicles, sister, um, one through nine, Dan is not in there. Why is that? Not only in the old covenant, but even in the new covenant, the New Testament, the new agreement, Revelation chapter seven. When you get around verses four through eight, he's not mentioned. Dan is not in Chronicles, the First Chronicles, nor is he mentioned in Revelation chapter seven. But when you study about the tribe of Dan, the biggest thing you see is idolatry. They was heavy in idolatry, so bad that even up to the point they kept stealing idols to practice the religion. They had it heavy. They did it a long time. As a matter of fact, when you study, Dan was one of the first tribes to follow old Jeroboam which led into the sin of idolatry. So in other words, they put idolatry, man-made mess, before the Holy Spirit, before the Most High. Now I want to ask y'all a question. Will Dan, will, will the tribe of Dan be saved? Will they be saved? That's my question to y'all for this video. Will the tribe of Dan be saved? See, when you study, sister, um, the tribe of Dan was the group of people who descended from the fifth son of Jacob, once again. And I want to make this point. When you follow man-made mess, you lose out. I hope I can get some Christians to listen to this video because this ain't, this ain't just Old Testament. This is right now and what's to come. When you put traditions, first of all, the Bible says that the traditions of man makes the word of the Most High void, none effect. And that's what a lot of people are doing. They are putting traditions of man over the Most High's word. They are following tradition or man-made religion, but they are not following the Holy Spirit. See, when you go back to the book of Judges, chapter 18, and get around verses 1 through 31, you will see the problem with Dan. First of all, they didn't have no king at the time in Israel. When you go back to that chapter, to say back in those days, there was no king in Israel. So when there was no kings, what started happening? You see what, like the book of Judges. So without a king, first of all, let me make this point. Israel never needed kings. <laughs> all they needed was to keep following the Most High. But they kept complaining. 
We need somebody. We need somebody else to follow. And look at how many kings that Israel had that was messed up. And then you can count how many was really just good. But let me stay on track here. But in those days, the people in the tribe of Dan were seeking this inheritance to dwell in, to have. But see, they wasn't so keen on what they had was good. They complained. They didn't even like the little piece of land that they had. This territory, man, this, this, what is this? Kind of like how the children of Israel complained about everything. They, they did not like the territory that they had, so they got to the point where, hey, we need to get some spies. Let's find us some spies and send them out. <laughs> we got to find something better than this. See, when you start trying to find your own way, you mess up every time. I'm reminded of Proverbs 16 and 25 when it, when it says that there is a way that seemed right to a man, but at the end it's leading you to death. It's leading you to destruction. And, and the sad thing is the tribe of Dan had the same promises, the same blessings, and the same curses. <laughs> if they would have done right. They had the same promise of blessings and cursings from being obedient and being disobedient that the other tribes had. But once again, my sister, he didn't even, he wasn't even mentioned in Revelation. Now let me go back to, to a little start on this. Let me go back to Rachel. Because when you go back to Rachel, Dan was not Rachel's child. But it was a servant that Rachel forced into having Jacob to have that son. That's why Rachel made that statement and said, God has judged me. Go back and read it. He judged me. And has also heard my voice and gave me a son. And we called his name Dan. That's why Dan's name is also tied in with judging. And then you also see what? The Dan Knights. So when you start putting two and two together, it makes so much sense. They even had a city named Dan. Even Moses and his sons, they was priests to the tribe of the Danites. Until what? Captivity of the land. But now the question is, and, I, and after all their idolatry, did they ever repent? That's why I'm asking you in this video, my question is to you, will the, the tribe of Dan be saved? Hmm. And also, what do you think happened to all the descendants of the tribe of Dan? See, there's so much I could say in this video, because now I'm thinking about going back to Solomon for a moment. See, also Solomon was considered one of the David was considered one of the greatest kings of Israel. And we know that Solomon is David's son. And But we know what happened after Solomon is when they had to split up. You had the southern kingdom, and then you had what? The northern kingdom. Just to the Bible studies out here. Come on, let's say amen. So when they split to the south, the southern, called what? Judah. The southern kingdom called Judah, and then here's the northern kingdom called what? Israel. Some may say the other ten tribes. But the northern kingdom, they start doing the same thing again. Once again, they start falling into idolatry. And every time you fall into idolatry and stay in it, you separate yourself from the most high. Now, let me go back to Joseph, who was the youngest son of old Jacob. <clears throat> Joseph was the youngest son of Jacob, and then he had his oldest name, uh, Manasseh. So, Joseph and Manasseh, that's what's listed in the tribes of Israel. That's who's listed. 
somebody else will say, what happened to Levi? Or the Levites? Or Ephraim? See, this may sound boring to some of y'all, but let, 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 me, let me get you to a, a better point on why I'm about to say what I'm about to say. Because when you have a name, mm, when you are named by the Most High, don't take that lightly. Those names in the Bible always meant something. It's a song I call, He Knows My Name. I can't think of who the artist is right now. Oh, how he walks with me. Oh, how he talks with me. He knows my name. So when he gave you a name, especially if you was in the chosen category, very important. Because the Most High already showed us in the Word, if you reject me, I will reject you. If you reject your name that was given to you to be saved, to have eternal life, and you not repenting, and you continue to just willfully sin and get turned over to a reprobated mind, how can you make it into heaven? Hmm. Well, some may say, well, JT, that's why in, Rev in the Bible he tells us we're going to have a new name. I understand that. But back to when you are chose. Mm. See, I'm not trying to mess up what the Most High have waiting on me. I don't, I don't know about y'all. I'm not trying to be absent from the, the new kingdom or the new Jerusalem, however you want to say it. See, there are a lot of people who don't care for making it in. But then a lot of us want to make it in. See, it's, 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 it's a trial of Dan right now. Catch what I'm saying. It's doing the same thing that they was doing. And see, idols come in many different ways now, my brothers and sisters. It ain't always got to be some carved up image or this statue. Anything that's blocking you from the Holy Spirit, that's your master, that's your idol. It could be your job, it could be your women, fellas. Ladies, it can be that man you worshiping. It can be that celebrity. It's so many ways that, that, that these idols come now. That's why the Bible says you can't serve two masters. You're going to love one and hate the other. And you can't serve God or mammon, which is money. So my sister, I hope that answers your question about this idolatry. Tribe of Dan let heavy, I'm talking about heavy idolatry, Keep their name blotted out. Oh. Mm. What are you talking about, JT? 144,000. We know from each tribe. I don't want my name blotted out. Mm. Woo. Come on, Holy Spirit. I don't want to be like the tribe of Dan. I'm learning from this. I don't want to be like Ephraim. They was also missing on the list. Because see, the 144,000 is very important. But this is a question I want to leave you with. This is a, y'all know I like to fire these questions at y'all. And I already asked you one, which was in your spiritual mindset. Or is it in the scripture? I'm not going to tell the answer till I see the answer. <laughs> Do you believe that the tribe of Dan are going to still be saved? Do you believe all of Israel will be saved? But my other question is, from adding up, how can it be 12,000 men from Joseph during the tribulation when no such tribe of the people existed? Hmm. That's my other question. And as I close, once again, if you don't get anything else out of this teaching, get this right here. Don't let man-made religion, man-made tradition, cause you to miss out on eternal life. I tell people all the time, many folks 
are going to miss heaven through their church building. Because if you're not teaching the sound doctrine, teaching what the Holy Spirit showed us, teaching others the, the keys and the, the tools that we need to make it till, make it, make it, make it to heaven, what are we doing? It's a lot of people right now, even in the church, they are just like the tribe of Dan. They worshiping everything except who you're supposed to be worshiping. With that being said, once again, don't let this man-made stuff, don't let it keep you from eternal life. I love you. Let us learn from yesterday as we live for the day, as we hope and pray for tomorrow. Shalom, y'all.